Okay, in this lesson, we're going to look at the properties of functions. And in particular, we're going to look at three different things. We're going to talk about the um, about even and odd functions, which have to do with symmetry. Uh, then we'll be talking about uh, when the functions are increasing and decreasing and constant. And then we'll also talk about max and mins. Okay. Um, probably the, we'll start with the most, uh, not difficult, but the more, um, um, the less familiar topic is even and odd functions. Okay. You obviously have heard about even and odd numbers where we have, there are even and odd functions, two totally different things. They're slight, we'll see they're slightly connected, but, um, well, if we have a function, which is, uh, in which again, all the inputs and outputs are, are real numbers. Then we say that this function f is even if f of minus x is equal to f of x for all x in the domain of f. So changing the sign of the input does not change the output. And then a function f is odd if f of minus x is equal to minus f of x for all x in the domain of f. So this means changing the sign of the input also changes the sign of the output. And uh, what if we translate this into uh, graphics, in terms of graphs, we say that we see the graph of an even function is must be symmetric to the x-axis because um, if we take a point on the graph x f of x and we change the change the sign of x, well we get a point over here. Uh, the y coordinate should be um, f of minus x, but if it's even, f of minus x is going to be f of x. So that's why we get this point. So this point is going to have the same y coordinate of this. So the graph is symmetric to the y axis. And then the graph of an odd function is going to be symmetric to the origin. Re reason why is if we have f, if this point is on the graph, we change the sign of x, well, our f of minus x will be minus f of x, so we get this point down here. So basically, if we take any point on the graph of an odd function and we change the sign of the x and y coordinates, we get another point on the graph. So it's symmetric with respect to the origin. Um, so what we could do if we want to, if we want to, to see if a, a function is even or odd, we can look at the, we can take out our graphing calculator and look at the graph. Well, we don't want to do that. We want to do this algebraically, which is the whole point of, you know, what we're doing here this course for. So um, basically, you determine if a function is even or odd or neither, you just change, you know, compute what f of minus x is. Okay. So in this case, if f of x is equal to x squared, f of minus x is going to be minus x squared. And then when we do that, this is the same thing as minus one squared times x squared. So this will just be one times x squared, which is just x squared, okay? Which is f of x. So this is even. And if we look at this function, f of x equals x cubed, f of minus x is going to be minus x to the third power now in this case we have minus one, let's, this is like minus one to the third power times x to the third power. Minus one to uh, an odd power is just minus one, so this is going to be minus x cubed. So this will be minus f of x. So this function must be odd. And there's some, there's some connection here with even and odd numbers. You just remember if you have, uh, you know, you know, because this was minus 1 squared times x squared. Minus 1 to an even power is just 1, and minus 1 to an odd power is just minus 1. Okay, so there is some connection of this, but you don't want to really, you know, rely too heavily on this. Most functions won't be this, this uh, simple. So let's look at some more examples. Um, f of x equals x to the fourth plus three. If we compute f of minus x, this will be minus x to the fourth 
plus 3. And this becomes just positive x to the 4th plus 3. So this is f of x. Okay? So this function must be even. Now we look at uh, f of x equals 2x plus 7. f of minus x will be 2 times minus x plus 7. And when you multiply these two together, you get minus 2x, and the 7 is still 7. All right. Now, uh, this, and you can see that this is certainly not equal to this, so it's not even. And it's not odd either, because minus f of x, th this minus here only applies to this ter to term 2x. It doesn't, we still have a plus 7 here. Okay, minus f of x is minus 2x plus 7, which is minus 2x minus 7. Okay, so this, this, of course, is different than this. So f of minus x is neither equal to f of x or f minus f of x. So that's why this is neither. Okay. We look at part E. Um, f of minus x. This is going to be minus x over minus x squared plus 2. Okay. Uh, this is just going to remain minus x. This is, we're squaring the minus sign here. So this is positive x squared. And because there's only one term in the numerator, we can take this minus and move it out here. Okay. And so this will be minus f of x. So this is odd. And then finally, if f of x equals 4 times x to the 5th, f of minus x will be 4 times minus x to the 5th. This is, uh, again, this will be minus x to the 5th. Okay? We're multiplying 4 times negative 1, that's negative 4 x to the 5th. So this will be minus f of x. So this has to be odd as well. Okay. And so that's how you do this. You take compute f of minus x and then simplify.